guys in today's video here we're gonna go ahead and show you guys how to unlock the bootloader on your LG G watch along with some other fun things so let's go ahead and get into this so you're gonna just um, get into the settings on your LG G watch right there's settings and you're gonna scroll down to about and right here you can see you're on software version 4.4 W um, but to, to unlock the bootloader on the G-Watch, you need to go ahead and get um, developer options turned on on your device. So to do that, you're just going to come down here. Now, one thing I want to point out is I have 50% battery. should be enough to do what I'm going to do here. But uh, make sure you have a decent battery charge before you do this process. So just scroll to your build number. Mine's right there. And you're just going to um, tap on it couple times there you go it says you are now a developer then you can swipe back and now underneath about you should have right here developer options okay so in developer options you're just gonna scroll down to ADB debugging and you're gonna click on it and you're gonna check that and this is going to enable should say ADB debugging enabled now and now we have ADB debugging set up and we can actually access this thing over ADB um, from our computer which is going to be the next step so to do that we need to get some drivers installed on our computer so let's hold this right here let's go check out our computer alright guys so here we are on the computer um, I've got a bunch of files here let me actually just highlight the ones you're gonna need though you're gonna need this file and you're gonna need this file and this one you'll have in a zip I'll zip up for you and this file so four files here out of these files I have is what you're actually going to need I'll give you links to all these so you'll have them in the video description down below, don't worry about that. Um, so first thing you're going to do is you want to run this universal ADB driver setup. Okay, It's just a run file, it installs the drivers you're going to need, you just click on it and it'll run. This will get the drivers you need for your device set up. Now I'm not going to install this because I'm going to show you another way to get your driver set up also in case you have issues with this. But always first try this method first, just run the driver install and you should be good. Once you've done the driver install, um, you can go up here and go ahead and extract this and extract it. This is fastboot ADB files you're going to need and they're up there. Drag this file right here into that folder and this one will probably be in there when you get it actually because I'm going to zip it up in there. And you should have a folder that basically looks like this. So some ADB stuff, fastboot stuff, um, a root boot image and an unlock and root text. All right. That is what you should have in this folder. All right, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and turn. Um, you should take your dock and plug it into your computer. Then you're just going to place the G-Watch on the dock with the magnetics. Mm -hmm. And you should see something come up over here. And you can actually see that my device is already connected. So my drivers did install correctly. Um, and we can actually run the first part of this. So what you're going to do here in this folder, make sure you're in the folder, go ahead and hold shift on your keyboard and then um, right click and say open command window here. Very good and we're going to test to make sure our G-Watch is communicating correctly so we're going to do ADB devices is what we're going to type in here and also that uh, this right here should be up so um, yes all right. So this should be up and it gives you all the commands. You'll see this, you'll have this uh, text document in there if you want to copy it. So ADB devices is the first thing we're going to type in and then hit enter. And it's going to try to see if the device is connected and the drivers are functioning correctly. So it does come back with this, but it says offline. So we need to um, enable and make sure that we can get it. So let's try it one more time, ADB devices it still says it's offline so to get it online because we have to get it online we're gonna come back in here into um, settings we'll go up one go into settings go back to developer options and we're just going to turn off developer options and then turn them back on all right and then you're going to get this prompt on your phone. Go ahead and say always allow and OK. And that's very important so that ADB functions correctly. So now we're going to try that command again. ADB devices. 
and now it comes back and just says device. That means we're functioning correctly. So from there, we can actually use this command right here. I'm going to copy and paste it this time. Copy, paste, and this is ADB Reboot Bootloader. And our device should go into this bootloader mode. Let me zoom in on this so you guys can see it. All right, so it's very, very, very tiny. Um, sorry if it's hard to see. It does say lock state is locked, and it gives you some other information on, on how to navigate the bootloader screen. So bootloader version, some different things you can do. So it looks like you can navigate with the two arrows, and then the little circle thing is the select. All right, um, so very interesting, fast boot mode. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to give it a command to unlock the bootloader, but first we're gonna test the, make sure it's functioning in fast boot mode, which is the mode we're in now, and test to make sure your driver's installed correctly. So we're gonna paste this in. Um, I'm sorry, not that one. We're gonna paste, uh, where is it at? It would be, well, it's fast boot devices is what I wanna paste in, so we'll, we'll do that up here. So fast boot devices and Okay, so that proves our drivers are functioning. It should have a number and come back fast boot. If it doesn't, you have a driver issue. Now, if you have a driver issue on your device, um, what I found is the easiest thing to do is go to um, My Computer and right-click and open uh, Manager and then update your drivers that way. Um, I have a driver video that talks about that. You'll see it. it's in the video description. All right, so fast boot is functioning correctly. That's a beautiful thing. Um, let's go ahead and get our next one. So our next one is going to be Fastboot OEM Unlock. So we'll copy that and paste it in. This is going to unlock the bootloader. This may void your warranty. I'm pretty sure it's going to um, if you do this step. So be uh, aware of that. You should still be able to get OTA updates and all that kind of good stuff. Not an issue, but you'll have an unlocked bootloader and your war warranty normally is void when that happens. I don't care. I always do it anyway. So here we go. Go ahead and hit enter. All right. And right down here, it says unlocking bootloader. If you unlock your bootloader, you will be able to install custom operating system software on the phone. It's not a phone, it's a smartwatch, but whatever. Blah, 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 blah. Do you want to restart? So it says, um, let's see here. Your personal data. Yeah, so it's going to wipe the device. It'll be lost. All personal data from your phone. Factory sedan. So it's not going to reset the phone, it's going to reset the watch. So let's scroll over. And it says, Yes, unlock bootloader now. May void warranty, like I said. I'm going to go ahead and hit the circle. And okay, so it says it is unlocked now. State is unlocked. And I think that's it, actually. It looks like it wiped the data and everything that quickly. Um, that's pretty slick actually uh, all right so your bootloader is now unlocked everything's wiped on the device it will do a factory reset. I'm gonna actually do um, fast boot reboot and go ahead and let the device reboot really quick so fast boot reboot this is gonna go ahead and just let the device reboot do a full reboot now that I've unlocked the bootloader you can see it does have the little unlock logo there um, on the bottom of the boot logo so that shows you that you have an unlocked bootloader on your LG G watch. Here is the initial boot up. You are going to have to go ahead and connect your device back up, everything on your device back up, just like you would if you were first initially setting it up because this does wipe data on the watch. And you may get a couple boots here, yeah, because that's what it does when it wipes data. That's pretty much a standard normal operation. So we are going to do our next couple steps, which is going to give us root access on this watch as well as the unlocked bootloader but we're going to let this thing go through and we'll show you that next process it is very simple okay there we go it has booted up we're going to go ahead and hit pick english and then it says to install android wear so um i've got android wear on this device let me show you that so here is android wear we'll open it up and we should be able to hit um connect let's see if it does it now last time I took it like a little bit like kind of open and close and open and close it so it's not connected let's see if it's going to try to connect now I think I had to kill Bluetooth to turn it on I had to do a couple things to get it to connect it did just take it just takes a little bit here
Okay, so there you go. So I'll go ahead and hit this one and hit this is okay. And there it goes. Everything should be uh, setting up right now. It does take a little bit to do this part, so just give it a second. And basically what it's doing here is just checking for um, internet access and making sure everything's working. So it says just a minute. All right, it's paired. Everything should be good. Um, now, we want to just make sure USB debugging is still turned on. I think it's not going to be, so we're going to go back into... No, not, not, not start. Hang on. We're going to go back into uh, settings. Go back. And, yeah, so we got to turn on developer options again with typing in the uh, build number. So... There we go. Swipe that back across. Developer options. Um, enable USB ADB debugging. Mm -hmm. And again, approve it and OK. And now we're ready to root the device. So everything's fully set back up. All your apps are restored from your phone. Everything should be all set back up exactly like it was before you unlock the bootloader at this point, which is very nice. So we're going to test ADB again. So ADB devices. There again, you see the number and the device. So then we will do the um, reboot bootloader again, ADB reboot bootloader. So copy, paste, hit enter. Mm -hmm. Again, we are going to be in bootloader mode. And we'll do the fast boot devices to prove our drivers again in this mode. They are good. So now we're going to do this command, which is fast boot boot this um, new boot image which is going to give us root access so we'll go ahead and hit uh, copy and we'll paste it in here so fast boot boot uh, lggw dash root boot dot image and hit enter and right here the device is going to reboot um, and once it gets rebooted we should be able to get root access on this device and I will show you how to test that and prove it. So it should be booting up here. Looks like it's doing like a quick double boot. Um, the first thing it does is it boots the, the, the uh, root boot image to kind of push some files in and then it reboots with the standard boot image. Um, so your boot image doesn't actually get replaced, it just uses the root boot image to push some files. Um, once they're in place, you basically have root access on your device. So what we're going to do from here is just prove that we have root access. So we're going to type in, well, actually, let me just, I don't think it can connect to the computer. Let's try it. ADB devices. So it is connected. So we're going to do ADB shell. And there, and then we're going to type in SU. And this is SU, which is asking for root privileges. So we'll hit enter. And there you go, it came back with root uh, at Dory and the number sign. That means you have root access and it doesn't come up with like a uh, super sue request or anything like that on the phone or on the device, but returning with the uh, number pound sign, I guess you could say right there, um, that means that you have root access. So you can actually give it root privilege commands at this point and pull files, push files, do anything you want to do with root access to your watch because you have it and it is fully rooted. There you go, guys. That is going to be my video on the LG G Watch. You can go ahead and close out your terminal and all of your files. And now you have an unlocked, rooted LG G Watch right there. Done and done. Stay tuned for more videos on this device. I will be putting many, many out um, as development happens. I know there's already a custom ROM, although it's, they say custom ROM. It's not a custom ROM. I looked at it. It's a modification you can flash to your watch. But it's out there. It is cool. It does speed up some things and give you some new functionality. Um, one last thing I'm going to show you guys that I think is really cool is this right here, if it'll work. Oh, i, I got to launch it. Here, I'll show you how to do this. This is pretty sweet. Um, right here it's called Wear Mini Launcher and the reason I like it is it adds some cool functionality to this thing I probably got to launch it in here as well so we'll go in here and launch it really quick um, right there launcher so I'll turn it off turn it back on swipe it away and then you can see it adds um, an app drawer here if you swipe from the top 
um, which is really nice, great functionality. Gets to your apps a lot quicker than going into Google Now, scrolling to start, and then launching an application. You just get that right there. There you go, guys. That's it. Sorry it took a long time. Just wanted to be thorough with it. Hope you guys liked this video. Um, stay tuned, as always, for more coverage on this thing, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie, out. Yeah.